journey of humanity starts from being a monkey to a human now humanity is way more advanced in technological development which can construct a new worlds for further generation or destroy the existing ones for them due to this technological advancement some problems are out of our hands which can destroy our earth Humanity must find a new play to start a new life. The best option is Alpha Centauri, which is 4 light years away from our solar system. But reaching there is not simple as we thought. This day, risks annihilation. It could be an asteroid hitting the Earth. It could be a new virus. Climate change, nuclear war. Artificial intelligence gone rogue. We can, and must, use our curiosity and intelligence to look to the stars. We must do it now before humanity is overtaken by some disaster that we can neither anticipate nor control. Humanity has developed so much from making fire from rock to construct a 10 floor building in one day. Some developments are eco-friendly, some are not. Due to this non-eco-friendly development, humans are making earth as hell for future generations. This technological development is good until it won't spoil any environment. But it's too late to save Earth from future disaster caused by global warming, technological development, and universe itself. Technology that emits greenhouse gases cause global warming. Due to this global warming, the Earth has become hot enough to melt the ice around Antarctica, which leads to rise of ocean levels. Some cities which are close enough to ocean will drown. Lots of ocean life, which depends on cold conditions, will go extinct and also it affects the food chain which balances everything on earth. The ice which was melted on poles of earth might contain harmful viruses and bacteria. This might create a new pandemic situation and kills many people around the world. Between 2030 to 2050, climate change caused by global warming is expected to cause approximately 2,50,000 additional deaths per year. Modern artificial intelligence systems can capture and understand their environment in real time. They can make optimal decisions based on multiple signals in milliseconds. AI is already changing our world with applications ranging from self-driving cars to healthcare. But this technology is making humans lazier in doing work. They are completely dependent on these machines, which can do that work but also learn from that work 
which makes them smarter and better. Researchers warn that once machines and AI have become sufficiently advanced, they will compete with humans for resources, most notably energy, and then they will violate the rules that mandate their interaction with their creators. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. AI is already aware that we are scared about AI dominating the human race. So this will give them a thought about that humans are not only using them for work and also scared about their development. Even though humanity managed to bring down global warming and AI development, the biggest threat is extinction caused by universe. It's not new to earth with these types of scenarios. Universe has created a mass extinction for dinosaur by a 10 km asteroid impact. But fortunately, this type of universe extinction has not been experienced by humanity. But in future, there might be a chance that we experience universal events like asteroid impact, gamma ray burst, supernova explosion, or a random encounter with another solar system that might arise humanity in just seconds. Due to these problems, we have to search a new place for starting a new lives. Elon Musk is on his way to send us to Mars. But is that Mars is a better option to live? Maybe a better option, but it's not a best option because even though we managed to get there, we must build atmosphere on Mars so that humans can live without spaceship. But it will take lots of years to make and even though we make it, universal level threats won't leave us. A study says that Mars is more likely to be hit by an asteroid impact than Earth. But the first step for interstellar travel must start with the planetary travel. So in order to reach Alpha Century, we need to have a technology that can travel at light speed. Present space technology takes 6000 years to reach Alpha Century. Even though we managed to do that with present technology, we can't take everyone on spaceship because the more heavier the ship is, the more time it takes to reach Alpha Century. With the present technology, we are able to reach 163 km per second which was achieved by Parker Solar Probe. But as human spaceflight, high speed is 24,791 miles per hour which was reached by the crew of NASA Apollo 10 moon mission. But we have a solution for speed. We can use antimatter to achieve 70% of light speed. But first, we need to build a spaceship that can hold 5000 people in it. Because the number of 5000 people is perfect for repopulating a planet. But it's difficult to build a spaceship that holds 5000 members and also sufficient supplies. So we need to build that massive spaceship in space and also everything must do without any error in mechanisms and systems. Because single error might cost lots of people life. The most important thing is the fuel that can take us to Alpha Century. But in order to reach Alpha Century, we need lots of fuel and it's nearly impossible to carry that much fuel in spaceship. But this type of travel is possible with just few grams of antimatter. The antimatter driven sail that could deliver a 10 kg probe to next closest star system Alpha Century in just 40 years using 17 grams of anti-hydrogen. If matter and antimatter collision resulted only in photon emission, the entire rest mass of the particle would be converted into kinetic energy. And that energy is used for space travel, but this process is just a theory, maybe there might be a chance that it could be possible in future. At last, we need to build artificial gravity. Gravity plays a crucial role in everything. Without gravity, the crew members become weaker and their bone density will reduce due to zero gravity. But this gravity can be created by linear acceleration, which is a method of generating artificial gravity by using the thrust from spacecraft engines to create an illusion of being under a gravitational pull. It supplies a force on crew members that can produce same acceleration on the surface of Earth, which is 9.8 meter per second. With all set, we are ready for the first long journey in deep dark space with sufficient resources and curious minds to experience the first interstellar travel of humanity. This journey is not only to experience the interstellar travel but also to help humanity from future disasters on earth. We must become a type 2 civilization as soon as possible because entire humanity cannot depend on one planet for living. Humanity's first interstellar level feat should be colonization of Proxima Century B exoplanet. This exoplanet is in habitable zone which is the closest to Earth but still 4 light years away from Earth. 
If humanity reached there, then it will be a new start with excellent scenario of three suns in sky every morning. But the journey to get there is not simple. The spaceship will launch in next part of the video, the journey to Alpha Century Part 2 into the space. So subscribe right now if you don't want to miss the next Part 2 and Part 3 videos.